To determine the sum involving a fraction and a decimal, we either need to convert this fraction to a decimal and then add the decimals, or convert the decimal to a fraction and then add the fractions. I'll actually show both methods in this video. Let's start by converting three-fourths to a decimal. Well, remember this fraction bar means division, so to convert three-fourths to a decimal, we'll divide three by four. There aren't any fours and threes, so we'll add a decimal point, move it up to the quotient, and then add a zero. Now we want to know how many fours are on 30, that would be seven. Seven times four is 28. This difference is two. Add another zero and bring it down. Now we want to know how many fours are on 20, that would be exactly five. Five times four is 20. We subtract and we have zero. So three-fourths is equal to 0 0.75. So using decimals, we can write the sum as 0 0.75 plus 0 0.8. Now to determine the sum using decimals, we would write this sum vertically, lining up the place values. We would have 0 0.75 plus 0 0.8. If we wanted to, we could add a zero in the hundredths place value here, bring the decimal point straight down, and then add as we normally do. Five plus zero is five. Seven plus eight is 15, carry a one. So we have 1.55, or a one in 55 hundredths, as our sum using decimals. Now let's find the sum using fractions. To do that, we'll have to convert 0 0.8 to a fraction. Well, if we know our place values, 0 0.8 would be read as 8 tenths, which would be 8 over 10, which does simplify. There's a common factor of 2 between 8 and 10. So 0 0.8 is equal to 8 tenths, which is equal to 4 fifths. So using fractions, we could write this as three-fourths plus four-fifths. To determine the sum in fraction form, we know we have to have a common denominator. So if our denominators are four and five, the least common denominator would be 20. So we have to multiply three-fourths by five over five, and we have to multiply four-fifths by four over four. Notice by doing this, we have a common denominator of 20. We would have 15 twentieths plus 16 twentieths, which would be 31 twentieths, which doesn't simplify. So this would be our sum as an improper fraction. But let's also convert this to a mixed number. So we would have 31 divided by 20 there's 1, 20, and 31 with a remainder of 11, which means 31 twentieths is equal to 1 and 11 twentieths. So here's our answer as a mixed number, here's our answer as a fraction or improper fraction, and here's our answer as a decimal. All these are equal to each other, just in different forms. I hope you found this helpful.